Hello everyone, welcome to ASNU Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by UCIL, that is Uranium Corporation of India Limited. And now it's a government of India enterprise and uh, Department of Atomic Energy it belongs to. Now over here on the official website, we can go and see the inviting applications for recruitment of various professionals. Uh, and the advertisement number is UCIL 06 2020. Now over here, you can look out for the notification, the recruitment process uh, and everything has been entitled over here. Now opening date of the online application is 25 of August 2025 and last date of the online application of submission will be 24th of September 2025. Right, apart from that, yeah, so what are the... Um, Positions which have been released of so computer engineering management training position with a monthly stipend of 40,000 plus prevailing DA, DNS allowance thereon. Uh, you need to have bachelor's degree in computer science engineering. Unfortunately, there is only one position which is uh, over here. Apart from that, um, discipline for human resource and yeah, so discipline for electrical engineering. Two positions are there, monthly stipend 40,000 rupees plus DNS allowance, degree in electrical and electronics engineering. If you have mining engineering students, uh, management training mining and total number of vacancies which are released are seven and uh, you need to have mining engineering, uh, discipline mechanical engineering management training positions, monthly stipend of 40,000 rupees plus DNS allowance and thereon two vacancies are released here, mechanical engineering. Uh, you should have um, as your degree. Chemical engineering as well, management training positions, uh, same management training positions have been released and also you need to have degree in chemical engineering or metallurgy engineering or MSc in mineral processing or equivalent. So age limit for all these above is 28 years. Right? Now these age limits are defined for general category. Apart from that, civil engineering candidates also can see there are total of three vacancies which have been released. Now this is for diploma training. Right? This is not management training, this is diploma training. You need to have a diploma. Uh, here the stipend is a bit less. It is approximately 30,000 rupees plus DNS allowance. Maximum age limit is 30 years. And you need to have diploma in civil engineering with a minimum of 60% aggregate. Apart from that, same for mechanical engineering as well. Nine vacancies for mechanical engineering diploma students. Here 29,000. 990 again approximately 30,000 plus DNS allowance if you have uh, three years of diploma in mechanical engineering with an ag uh, aggregate of 60% marks maximum age limit is 30 years similarly for mining engineering as well diploma trainee students 36 vacancies have been released for you all after that 30 years is your age limit and diploma in mining mining uh, and yeah so mining related engineering diploma you should have Apart from that, discipline survey, over here, operational trainee survey will be considered. So, BSc, chemistry, physics or maths will be allowed in this case. Apart from that, electrical engineering also, a lot of vacancies have been released in total totality. You can see um, for various positions, diploma trainee, electrical engineering, total 10 vacancies, age limit 30 years and you need to have 3 years of diploma. Instrumentation engineering as well, total 4 vacancies. 30 years of uh, age limit and after that, three years of diploma in instrumentation engineering. Now, apart from that, um, yeah, so that's it. These are the vacancies which are released for us. And uh, point is that, okay, fine. In some cases, the vacancies may be less, but see, you never know. You need only one seat, right? So do apply from your engineering domain as well. Uh, there is no harm in that. Uh, specifically when opportunity is this good, right? This good in the sense that you will be getting good opportunities at park. And upper age limit is relaxable for various categories as per central government norms as we know. Uh, for OBC category, it is three years of relaxation and also for, uh, you can see CST category, there is five years of relaxation. And 10 years for physically handicapped with benchmark disabilities, uh, there is 10 years of relaxation. Now, pay and allowances are also mentioned over here. Management trainee will be of E1 grade. 
uh, as mentioned. Now there will be a training period of one year and during that one year you will be paid that stipend plus DNS allowance and then upon successful completion of training and um, subject to the fulfilling of the requirements of performance related, you need to perform uh, up to the mark in during the training phase, then only you will be considered as a permanent uh, member, um, which is your even position, assistant superintendent position or assistant manager position. The diploma students will also undergo training of one year. During that training period, um, you will be uh, also paid your monthly stipend and also you need to clear successful completion of that training and based upon your performance, you will be uh, called as assistant foreman uh, or tradesman E grade, your pay scale will be 30,000 to 46,000 rupees, right? That is the consideration over here in respect of the pay scale. And yeah, so selection process, as we can see, UCL will be utilizing GAGE 2025 score. Yeah, so here GAGE 2025 will be considered for your selection of management trainee positions. Whatever management trainee positions you see, either for computer science, electrical, mining, mechanical, uh, and chemical metallurgical positions, here you will be seeing that uh, the selection will be with respect to GATE 2025 score, right? Marks will be used for the management trainee posts in various disciplines. And in order to apply, you need to also uh, fulfill the minimum education qualification and also GATE 2025 examination paper code is also mentioned over here, which is required to be fulfilled, right? Now only GATE 2025 marks are valid for the recruitment process and based on GATE 2025 marks, the organization will be required for the candidates shall not be shortlisted for personal interview, shall be shortlisted for personal interviews. Then once you are shortlisted, interview will be conducted and based upon that, uh, you will be selected. Now, 80% weightage will be given to uh, the GATE 2025 score and 25% weightage will be given to the interview, right? This is the biggest doubt amongst the students, right, sir, which is being followed, which should be followed uh, criteria for GATE 2025, right? How much weightage is there? Uh, all those things. The students tend to ask about that. And... Um, so yeah, after that, so for applying, you need to go for the official website and everything. You need to uh, provide 500 rupees of application fees in case of unreserved EWS category and OBC NCL category and other category students are exempted from the fees, right? So for all of these 15 positions which are released in this notification, you are uh, required to fill the form before 24th of September 2025. So that's it from this video and that's it from this notification. Now. Uh, please do like this video and share it with your friends also and do subscribe to our channel. And if you find this helpful or if you have any doubts corresponding to this particular video, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.